morning, morning Gophers. Gophers! I'm Betsy, the Vice President of Gopher News. And I'm Millie, not the Vice President, I'm just here. Yeah, Nick couldn't be here, you know. The Oogie Boogie Man kind of took him. He'll be fine, though. Um, um, and thank, thank you, you for, for tuning, tuning in to our, our weekly broadcast. broadcast. Now in world news, our chief tweet is on the move. Elon Musk posted a video of himself walking into Twitter headquarters with a sing, shortly after changing his bio title of Chief Twit. He captioned the video entering Twitter HQ. Let that sink in. Elon Musk has officially closed on Twitter as of October 27, 2022. Under this agreement, Musk is taking the social media giant private at $54.20 per share. Let that sink in. Get it? Get it? Let... Okay. Well, it will be interesting in seeing what his next move will be. Now with the local news. Duncanville High School has been stripped of their 2022 state basketball championship due to rule violations. UOL handed down punishment for both the Duncanville boys and girls basketball team for playing an ineligible player and violating recruiting rules and practice restrictions. UOL decided that the boys basketball team will forfeit all games from the 2021-2022 season and McKinney High School will now be named the state champs. The girls' basketball team will also be suspended from this year's playoffs for violating recruiting rules and practice restrictions. The UIO also suspended both head coaches for both the boys' and girls' teams for one year and with probation for three years. Yeah, Jesus. Kanye is in the same boat in trending news. Kanye West loses his billionaire status after Adidas cut ties over his anti-Semitic comments. The athlete company stated earlier this month that its collaboration with E was under review after he made claims on a now-removed episode of the Drink Champs podcast. Skirt, that's not as important as Takeoff just died. Takeoff is dead at 28. And an investigation is underway after rapper Takeoff of the popular group Migos was fatally shot during a private party at a bowling alley in downtown Houston. Officers say when they arrived at the scene, they located a large crowd and a man with a gunshot wound to the head. Takeoff was pronounced dead at the scene. HPD said investigators state they are looking at nearby surveillance videos and are working to determine what led up to the shooting. Speaking of murder, a Jeffrey Dahmer pizza has people outraged. It turns out some Americans aren't ready to laugh over a Jeffrey Dahmer-inspired cannibal pizza. During the Halloween season, a Lubbock, Texas pizza joint is catching heat for its Dahmer special, inspired by the crazed madman who ate his murder victims. The pizza is complete with fingers, eyeballs, ramen noodles for intestines, and a red bloody sauce. A Facebook critic wrote, This is horrible. I am so tired of all the celebration over Dahmer. In an opinion piece after learning of the ghoulish pizza, meanwhile the restaurant wants people to relax, as it was just a prop a waitress created and just put it up as a fun Halloween decoration. But on a lighter news, a New York man charged with putting several reptiles in his pants. A New York City man has been charged with smuggling three Burmese pythons in his pants at a U.S.-Canadian border crossing. The importation of Burmese python is regulated by an international treaty. The man was arraigned Tuesday in Albany on the federal smuggling charges of release pending trial. According to the news released from the Office of U.S. Attorney, the charges carry a potential of maximum sentence of 20 years in prison and high fine. Snakes? Why do it have to be snakes? Well, let's move on to weather. Good morning, Gophers. Welcome to the Gopher Weather Station. I am Maya Kirkwood, your GP weather woman, and here's the weekend forecast. Friday, a high of 75 and a low of 49 with 97% thunderstorms. Saturday should be sunny with a high of 70 and a low of 52. Sunday will be a high with 76 and a low of 59. So we hope our forecast looks pretty nice. Now back to the studio with Millie and Betsy. Well, I hope that weather report is accurate. <laughs> we have one more segment called Tasty Knowledge. Who is the 52nd president of the United States? I don't know. I don't know. Yeah, 52nd. Oh, good. Who is it? Do you need a hint? Yeah. I need a hint. Who's our president? Uh, George, Joe Biden. Were you going to say George? <laughs> what color is Winnie the Pooh's pants? He, he doesn't don't have, have pants. pants. Great answer, great answer, great answer. <laughs> What do you put in a toaster? Toast. 
How many months have 28 days? All of them. July. All of them. February. Oh, damn. He's old for two. You're old for one. Wait, is it February? It's your freshman coming out. It's your freshman coming out. What do you put in a toaster? Bread. She got it right. When was the War of 1811? War of 1811. What year? 1984. Bro, what? <laughs> How many months have 28 days? One. Are you sure? No, zero. How many months got 28 days in them? Um, every month. Great ass, a great. What color is Winnie the Pooh's pants? Winnie the who? Winnie the Pooh. Red. Yellow. Red. red. It's red. She's right. Y'all are all wrong. It's yellow, right? Yeah, he ain't got no pants. Red. Okay, so the question is, what color is Winnie the Pooh's pants? What of the who? Winnie the Pooh. I don't think he has pants. So, the question of the day is, what continent is the Eiffel Tower in? You say Europe? Finally, somebody got it right on the first try. Puente, 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 puente. Question, question that is, what do you put in a toaster? In a toaster? I don't know, like a fork or something? Okay, so basically, you feel me? The question of the day is, a farmer has, a farmer has 15 cows. Hear me out. A farmer has 15 cows. All but seven die. How many cows you got left? 15. A farmer has 15 cows. All but seven die. How many cows he got left? Oh, it's period. 15. Bro, he answered it. Seven. Thank you. Okay, man. Question of the day is, how many months have 28 days in them? What did he say? You are educated back then. You know it. What did he say? How many months have 28 days? No. <laughs> How many months have 28 days? There's only one month. All of them. Uh, there we go. That's the answer. And you were scared? We were thinking about February. What continent is the Eiffel uh, Tower in? The Eiffel Tower is in Italy. You're wrong on both ways. Because first of all, that's not even a continent. And second of all, it's not in Italy. Uh, uh, first of all, it's not Australia. Uh, uh, what? Hmm. The question of the day is, are you having a gopher horrific day? I am not. Why? Females be tripping on God. Hey, amen. Well, um, at least we know that some of us know what we're doing. Okay, let's move on to campus news. GPHS LULAC Youth Council received first place in the 2022 City of Grand Prairie Dia de los Muertos Ofrenda y Altar Contest for the United Farm Workers Ofrenda honoring and remembering the many farm workers who have passed away, cultivating and harvesting the food that reaches our table. We wish to bring attention to the dangerous working conditions of the farm workers in Durham. Thank you to all GPHS, ECHS, LULAC members, Mexican American Studies, art and construction students for helping building a beautiful and meaningful altar. Coach Wright would like Gophers to know voluntary track workouts will start Monday, November 11th, and please meet at the Gopher Bowl at 3. You must have a physical to practice. Okay, Gophers and Gopher teachers, we would like to break down what we are creating with our new broadcast. Our plan is to have our Friday show air once a week in place of our daily news. We would like to give you the opportunity to highlight your programs and students in a Gopherific way. Please take time to send us your highlights and announcements using our Google form, using this QR code, and it will also be in Ms. Benner's email signature. But please make sure you are sending your announcements in a timely manner, or you will have to wait another week for it to air. Our broadcast takes many days to create and film, so please be understanding if we don't air every Friday due to illness or competitions. Teacher, teachers, if you have any ideas or would like to have your program featured in an interview, please fill out our form. That was all for today. Um, yeah. Oh, and how could I forget about Nick? 
he'll probably be back very soon. Yeah, I don't think the Oogie Boogie Man would like Nick so much. Well, yeah, duh. Anyways, thank you so very much for tuning in to our weekly broadcast. And, and don't, don't forget, forget to have a gopherific day. day.